I don't need my readers. That's good. I don't need my readers. I'm nervous. I don't normally give speeches. I play drums for a living. And one of the reasons I play drums for a living is because of a, an amazing woman who's here tonight. I think I can see you. Alanis Morissette. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, I would probably be delivering pizzas to someone you know tonight if it wasn't for her. I mean it. Um, she gave me a break and uh, she's awesome. She was an amazing boss. She went through 18 months of insanity from here to insanity and she handled it with grace. Now I'm gonna read my speech. So. I played with Alanis on her Can't Not Tour right after Jagged Little Pill came out. On that tour, I witnessed Alanis become not just a star, but an icon. Someone who inspired countless musicians, including myself. After her, after her and, yeah, and, and, okay, I'm sorry, I already fucked up the speech. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, no, go, can you go back a little bit? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, who inspired countless musicians after her and changed the power structure of an industry. It wasn't easy. When radio stations said they couldn't play her a single because they already had female artists in the rotation, well, they played the fuck out of it. Let me tell you, because there was no stopping it. There just wasn't. The week it came out, it went bananas. And it was amazing. And I saw it firsthand. Anyways, um, yes, the rotation, the, the rotation, the power of Alanis' music overcame it. It definitely did. Because it was fucking amazing. And the sexism didn't matter. Didn't matter who it was. Because that's how good it was. She sold out shows. She topped charts. She was played on the radio a lot. And then an in incredible thing happened. Thank you. <laughs> More women began to get airtime. Air Sarah McLaughlin, Annie DeFranco, the Indigo Girls, Cheryl Crow. They had already accomplished a lot. And they were respected. But suddenly radio stations were willing to play this, their songs back to back. Alanis' efforts, Alanis's efforts made gender irrelevant. Since spearheading that sea change, Alanis has won seven Grammys, 10 Junos, the UN Global Tolerance Award, damn, damn, and many more. Um, I don't wanna get so stiff, as Alicia put it, <laughs> feeling a little stiff. <laughs> She's continued to influence and awe fans and artists alike with her confessional style and her cathartic performances. Man, I saw them. She never missed one. I, that's off script. I mean, I don't even know how many shows we played that year and she never fucking missed one. Never. And she sang, she sang every night and you know, we were like going on before like Rage Against the Machine and bands like that, you know, and it, it was to watch her sort of have to prove herself. And as, I don't mean to prove herself, but like, you know, it was a tough time, the 90s, everyone was walking around, you know, are you real, are you, re you, know, you know, do you have the integrity? And, you know, to see her go on and we, you know, we played with David Bowie, we played with all these people, and she just, once she got to the front of that stage, it didn't matter who was before, who was after, it did not fucking matter. Because it was on every time. Game on every time. Never missed a show. That's, all right, I'm flipping the script. All right. She became a mom of three. And she mined that experience for the deep insight we've come to expect from her. Flavors of entanglement and havoc and bright lights saw her embrace a sensitive 
a sensitivity she hadn't revealed previously on previous albums. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> and now with her podcast and a brand new Broadway musical inspired by that groundbreaking album, Jagged Little Pill. And I know it well. And a new album coming this spring. She's truly unstoppable. She is. She really is. She always was from the day I met her. And I thank you so much for everything, for me and for everyone here. I've been so fortunate to witness Alanis' artistic growth, personal determination over the last 25 years, and here she is tonight. She's the type of musician and person who comes along just, God, once in my lifetime, if you're lucky. And I was lucky enough to meet her 